hello everyone in this video we are going to see about the arrays basics so you know array is a collection of same type of elements under the single name the array may be a integer array character array or any float array so here an array is defined as a collection of similar data types similar type of data items stored at continuous memory locations what does it mean first element is stored in the in one location in memory next then the next elements are stored in the contiguous location that means the continuous locations and arrays are the derived data type in c programming language in any programming language arrays are the derived data types what is derived data types is what is primitive data type is like int char float they are all the primitives they are all the basic items okay but when you say derived means a collection of basic items forms the derived data type so here array is a collection of similar elements similar integer or same character array or a float array so they are all the derived data types and then it can store primitive data types such as int char double or float that means that can be integer array character array double array or float array so now here let us see what are all the advantages are of arrays so one is code optimization actually what is code optimization is when you are writing the code when it is possible to write a less amount of code the code that is written to access the data is less that is one advantage in code optimization in code optimization in that is the advantage of the arrays and then ease of traversing what is ease of traversing is when you are traverse through the array elements either by the for loop or while loop but normally we use the for loop so we can just start from the first element we can just continuously go to the next continuous element that is called as an ease of traversing and then ease of sorting sorting is arranging of the elements so we know that once you know the the sorting logic there are many sorting logics normally we use the bubble sort so that the sorting is made easier with a few lines of codes and then random access we can access any element of the array random like for example i want to access the fifth element a of four i want to access the tenth element a of nine so i can access the one particular element of the array randomly that is called as a random access and what is the disadvantages of arrays is it is fixed size suppose if you are fixing the array as a a of 10 and if you are giving the 11th element then that element will be discarded 11th element will be discarded so that is the fixed size array that is the problem of the arrays so now here coming to the next slide they have given the syntax and the initialization of the one dimensional array so what is one dimensional array here for example the given is a marks of the students okay here data type array name and array size data type is the type of the element in the arrays and array name is the name of the array given to reference and then size is the capacity of the array that means how many elements can be held in the array so example is int marks 5 here int is data type marks is array name and in array size is 5 that means this is an integer array that can hold 5 elements of integer type so how they can be indexed mark of 0 as I told you here 0 is the starting index of the array here mark of 0 refers to the first element then marks of one the second element and third and fourth and fifth element so this is the index the number within the bracket is called as an index of the array that helps to access any element randomly now coming to the declaration with initialization suppose if we want to initialize the values of the array in the declaration itself at that time how we have to do we have to declare as the array type as usual the array name and size also but you have to give the elements in the in, in the declaration itself like how you give int a is equal to 5 int i is equal to 1 like that here since you have five elements you have to give in this is the flat brace the set braces 1 2 3 4 and 5 elements are given as for five locations of this mark array so this is how to initialize the array at the time of declaration okay so now there is also another way we can declare the array and we can initialize the values and that is the this is the following code for that like int marks empty brace and then some elements what is the advantage i just to differentiate between the colors to show this here the size is mentioned here the size is not mentioned what does it mean is if 
the size is even the size is not mentioned automatically this based upon the number of elements the size will be fixed so that is the this is also another way of declaring the arrays during the declaration itself okay and then example for this one dimensional array is we are finding the minimum and the maximum number of elements in an array so that is a good example of this one dimensional array now let us see the next slide about the two dimensional arrays what is two dimensional arrays the arrays having two dimensions what are the dimensions here rows and the columns normally in mathematics we have matrix so matrix has is a collection of rows and columns so we are using the two dimensional arrays concept to mention the matrix in the programming language so what is the syntax here data type array name rows columns so here there are two dimensions rows and columns so the example is data type is int array name is two diamond and then the row is five and column is three that means there are four rows and three columns in this array so how to initialize the two dimensional array while declaration itself so this is the format int array arr is the array name then four comma three that means there are four rows and three columns so how to declare the values or initialize the values while declaration itself this is i have showed in different colored brackets to differentiate how to so here there are three columns so one two three four rows and one two three columns so for this is four rows one row one row two row three and row four and the columns three columns first column second column third column then next to row first column second column third column then next to row first column second column third column and finally the fourth row first column second column and third column so this is how we have to initialize the values of the two dimensional array so example of this two dimensional array is the matrix addition or subtraction program so that's all about how to declare an array and how to initialize the values of an array during the declaration itself hope you understood the concept of arrays and how to initialize and and how to declare the arrays and thanks for watching